That is right, the scavenger hunt is back. Master of Black. Yeah, I, I recorded that song for a fan. You have no fans. PA King presents <laughs> The Scavengers. And similar soon. All right now, because you're watching it. Welcome back. It's lovely to see your faces again. Obviously, we look like really well orchestrated zeros and ones. For those who don't know, those are binary codes. We can't see you, but we feel you, man. And if you're new, we feel you the exact same way. Come join the fam. Don't forget to click subscribe. We have a massive family, ever growing. I think I just heard that Auntie June's pregnant. It's gonna be a bit mad when everyone finds out, but you know what? That's what we live for, the family drama, and you can only find that right here at PAQ. As you can tell, we are not in our regular London studio. We are out here in the beautiful Berlin. The lovely people over at Hugo have invited us over and they have set us a mad challenge. We want to show you guys how beautiful it is, the amount of amazing art, culture, music that comes from here. Hugo represent all of these incredible values, which is why we've teamed up with them for this episode. We have not done this in a minute since New York. Big man ting, ting man big, all that good stuff. And of course, what would it be if we're not split to team? So obviously, me and Dex, team Shexy's back. Then you've got the two turds over there. So we're gonna be wearing Hugo throughout the episode, so make sure you hit the link below to shop some of our looks. My favorite thing about Berlin is Das Lusche. I don't know if I das pronounced Lusche. it right. I don't think I pronounced it right. You know what, yeah? You are getting on my nerves, yeah? <laughs> because you are literally the parrot in the room that I feel like should just be let out <laughs> to never come back. <laughs> What's origin sounds wow. like a parrot? A carrot. I feel like... <laughs> Like what? <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Ten tasks, five hours, two teams, one winner. Stay locked in. It's about to go down. I mean, technically, it's gonna be two <laughs> winners. Yeah, that's true. just left the Hugo store, picked up some clothes, made sure we have our list of 10 things we have to tick off in the scavenger hunt, and also had to pick up the camera and the film because we've got to take photos to prove what we got. Find the best dressed person in Berlin. I want to get a photo of Magnus or Leo or both of them together. They're both in Berlin right now in the same hotel. Thank God it's not on YouTube because Magnus already took that out. Ricky Thompson. <laughs> Can we go to Soho House, please? We're at Klunker Kranich to find the best view of Berlin. Go away. I have to fight you on the street. Jeez. So we can't go inside Soho House with cameras. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside, take a photo, come back out. Do you know what room you're staying in? Message him. Well, this is a beautiful rooftop bar, I have to say. Wow, this is making me bare hungry. Me, 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 me. Sorry. But where the hell is the rooftop bar to? It's because we haven't even been to the top yet. Yo, we got set up, fam. Oh, wait, I think I can see it. Really? It's up on there. I'm actually gassed. <laughs> that was so lucky. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not doing that, bro. We walked straight in, they were sitting in a restaurant all together. I think that bangs, man. Literally, when we turned up there, man came over with a walkie-talkie, and I could see him panging out about no photos, no nothing, so I was like, okay, you need to move quick. Had to bang out the camera while this man's cursing and just take a couple snaps. Oh, Danny, you look so great. But I think we should use the one without you, because you're ugly. So we are at Paul's Boutique. We have to find a sick item to thrift, so we're going to find that in here. But also, they have a lot of football jerseys, so I think we can actually also find a football kit. We will probably take an L on this football stuff because I literally have no idea. Can't go wrong with Manchester United. I swear they got kicked out of the World Cup. I have a friend in Berlin who has lived here for about three years now, I think. 
to meet up with her, <laughs> and then we can literally say to her, like, right, we've got a list. Give us all these places to go to. Oh, wait, is that a full kit? Yo, and it's got boots. We're doing a challenge. If I was to wear it for a photo, is that okay? Find a doner kebab. It's not really that hard to find a doner kebab. Find a street corner, find a kebab store. Trust me, there's always a doner lurking somewhere. You see how this guy's store is? This is how I want my house one day, low key, yeah? Bare stuff. Oh my days, this is Star Wars. Bruv, who is this guy? Finally found Alina as well. We'll get the kebab photo ticked off. And then while we're here, sit down and work out what the game plan is, what the route is, and use Alina to help us. Fill in tour guide. Bruv, you need to hurry up, fam. Wait, these are too big. Bro, why are they, why are you, bro, pick them up, man, this football shorts. Oh. Can we have two Donna, please? There you go. Thank you. I don't know how to attack this. Neither. Just, just, just. Are they original J Jordans? What, the top one? Yeah. You know any good vintage stores? The Weimar such Castle, like, OK, it's pretty close to here. <laughs> There's, like, a store that's that again, sell, like, that designer vintage. What was it called? Um, you mean Weimar such Castle? You, you all right? Yeah. Ready? Sure. Yeah. We got a picture of Dexter with the Air Jordan one, like the original one as well. <laughs> All right, turn around. Um, where's the button again? All right, let's get the juice. I look like an egg. After we took the photo with the Donna Kebab, we went inside the restaurant to sit down and the chairs actually matched your <laughs> outfit. So we decided to take the photo in there. Uh, just about, it was small, but hopefully we made it work. And then I got a picture of Dexter also in a rare vintage football kit and actually been worn and used and signed. Done. View. Best dressed. We've done three. <laughs> <laughs> Find an item from a hyped Berlin brand. Maybe we should get a designer brand. Like what? I don't know, you tell me. We are at 032C. I don't even know which way it is. Right now, we're trying to find the German fashion magazine, 032C, but I think the offices are closed. We've been bamboozled. <laughs> I'm sure I could find something in this bag that might help the situation. Oh, look. Oh, look what I found. It's just an hour. We're going to go to Furman. We're going to go to Furman. Oh, I can't, can't even speak. So we're going to go to Firmament because I popped in there a couple of days ago. I know they stopped the magazines. So we're going to go in there, bang that photo, then go to the thrift store. So you arrived at the 032C store. Unfortunately, it's closed. So the only thing that we could buy was this pin, which is actually, it's still pretty cool. But yeah, we do actually technically have an item. Yeah, so now we just need to figure out how to take a cool photo of this. Ah, oh, sick idea. Vintage football kit. It's coming on, boys. Tell them, Rippers. What's he doing, Rippers? There we go. You guys looking for anything specific? It's just like... three lines on a shirt, son. Oh, my days. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. You said a hype brand. Do you want to take a picture of your juice just in case? Because it's still branding. We're outside Firmament. We're going to go get a photo with the 032C mag and also see if there's a hype Berlin product. <laughs> Abandoned building, here we come. I'm not a big fan of this. If we need to get the whole abandoned building, we need to take the picture from further back. That is a Berlin brand. Hey, 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 hey. What, you're not trying to, what? We stumbled across Paul's Boutique, which is a vintage store just across the road. So we're going to pop in there, see if there's anything. Ooh. I better up. That's all you get for free. What you found out? Well, what have I found, Rippers? An England shirt, an England shirt, and an England shirt, so we can all get in matching England shirts. Oh, shall we? It's coming home, son. Yeah, let's do it. If you remember last time when we was in New York, um, we, got a, we got a picture of the view on top of a bridge. Maybe that might be the best option. The football kit's done. <laughs> that was kind of gully. We were all doing that together. No, yeah, we've got phones and we're not using them wisely. 
Yo, my phone's bugging. They're saying I have no connection. No. Yeah? No. No. Oh. Oh my god. Size 18, yeah. I might wear them to Wimbledon. Sign check. Check. Oh, sh Go, go, go. There's no film. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh Wait, seriously? No film. There's no film. We've both got to get running. You've got to get to work. We'll get to our abandoned building. Let's go. Thank you Bring it in. Thank you for all the help. We actually only have like an hour or something. Three, two, one. Wow, this one's better. Off to the east side gallery. So we're going to Bergheim to take the photo outside there. Then going to find the street art, get that flick. We are currently at the Berlin Wall. There's this one of the of these two politicians kissing. That one seems to be really iconic. So we have the East Side Gallery, the Berlin Wall, 500 meters of pure street art, and the most iconic place in Berlin. Cool, cool. Oh, just take it, take it, take it, take it. Hurry up. Just, just... No, 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 it's fine. No, 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 I just need... no, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No, Bruh. nobody, nobody. Oh my god. Oh, oh, you want no one? No, no one. Oh, okay, okay. She wants no one. On three, two, one, drum. You better drum. All right. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> You're a <laughs> shit. <laughs> you so right now, we're at Mustafa's. One of the best. In fact, no, it is the best place to get kebab. I drank half of every single drink in the mini fridge. Just because. Bergheim is probably one of the most notorious rave clubs in the world. So let's bang a photo. Oh, oh shit. There's hella bounces. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to dress right, act right. <laughs> the worst rave photos I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Is it okay if we take a photo quickly? So we are now in Tuffelsberg, West Berlin, going to an abandoned spy tower. I don't think the other boys have thought about coming to somewhere like here for the abandoned building. We're outside. Burkheim right now, the ultimate raver spot where Danny and Elias get to all their <laughs> love. Not gonna lie, the DJ jumped off a while ago. Love. I don't know if you man can see this, yeah? There are a few men in there lurking, fam. No, no, Wait, no, no. Don't no. you want to be in it? Why I always got to be? I ain't Shut even up, man. Bruv, this guy, yeah. We're going to a wavy magazine spot called Do You Read Me? This is the last bit we have to get today. Oh yeah, just hold up there. Nah, but I tried the Scott one there. Fire. Nah. First we need to turn the power on. I need the view. But you need the, the dome as well. Click it. This aesthetic here is really sick. Three, two, one. Sorry for interrupting the episode, but we have to give a massive shout out to Hugo. Over at Hugo, they're all about encouraging individuality and creative expression. That's exactly what us man do with a show and what we believe in. So it's a match made in heaven. Make sure you click the link in the description to check out the Spring Summer 19 collection. Get yourself copying, get yourself pre in get flat. Hey, so my name is Maxime Ballesteros. I'm a photographer from France. I've been living in Berlin since the past 10 years. You can have fun in, in Berlin. It's a great place to hunt, actually, for location, for people, for everybody. It's quite open-minded. You can do a bit what you want. They don't mind if you're like naked on the street or what is going to even look at you. So right now, I'm just really looking forward to see what the boys have been up to, and they're going to show me that in a minute. So, Maxime, thank you for coming down. Thank you Welcome so much. to the studio. Today, you're going to be judging us. I want to be a bit surprised because I've been living here for 10 years now, so I know the city quite well. Oh. So I'm kind of interested in what you 
What strikes you? What would you say is more important? Would you say it's like the photo itself or the story behind the photo? Or can both work together? Hard to say. Like, if it's more, a bit more intimate story, then the story behind the photo is a lot more important. But for somebody who doesn't know the story behind, it still has to be a good photo that works, even if you don't have the background. Okay, guys, now I really can't wait to see what you've done. We don't know what each other have done yet as well. I'm gonna look now, yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs> We went to Mustafa's in Kreuzberg. They do the best uh, kebab. And at least as a team, I took a photo of him. Yeah. I don't know who. Because yeah, who took that photo? So I have a friend in Berlin called Alina. I gave her a call and then I was like, we need your help. I've said in the past, I said, we're not doing that. We're not doing no helplines, nothing like that, yeah. Don't work hard, work smart. It's literally like, if you're in Berlin, yeah. you know someone who knows Berlin, it makes sense. How are you guys, how are you guys always, you guys always do that? Oh, Maybe you should yeah. get some friends in Berlin. <laughs> I think for this one, I'm gonna go for you guys because yeah. the fact that you talked with the people and I think it's good. 032 C is for me, I think uh -huh. one of the most iconic Berlin magazines. Yeah. One of my favorites anyway. I'm even wearing <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> the, the socks as well. <laughs> you look so happy. On the front, <laughs> <laughs> for this challenge, I'm gonna go with you guys because I think there's a bit more diversity. It's not like only focus on one. Oh yeah, just hold up there. Yes, I'm gonna go because with this one, because somehow it's even more iconic view of Berlin because this kind of little light, this kind of wooden balcony sh is like everywhere in Berlin. Now we go to the coolest abandoned building, which there's a lot in Berlin. So it's an American spy station. <laughs> and yeah, as you know, it's like three towers, but we had to walk through like tons of like completely like pitch black corridors. Yeah. Anyway, it was the most incredible, um, incredible place. Like, I actually will say it's one of probably the best places that I've seen. We was driving through and like, we saw this abandoned building. I was like, bro, yeah. this is the perfect one. And as we was walking closer and closer towards it, we noticed on the front of it, it says stop wars. Yeah. I thought that was the most powerful yeah. statement. I must say, I really like it, but the no, thing was yeah, like yeah. the coolest, the yeah. coolest. For me, that like, it touched me a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, that's really like, I think, one of the coolest abandoned places in Berlin. I like your styling. I like like the hat, the little pin. Thank you. I can choose yeah, for this one. It's a tie, so you both get the point. It's they have a lot of um. They have a lot of goth trance music. Um, yeah, you can stay there like for 48 hours. There's some snacks. Wow. There's like anything you need. They close the curtains so you don't don't see the light. Yo, so like, when are you next going, bro? You should experience it. Had me when it's like a black room. The dark yeah. rooms you want to <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm trying to go back. I'm trying to go inside, party. They just want shoes behind you. <laughs> so them two have like really sick street style. A lot of people look up to their style and stuff. And they both told me they're in the same hotel. So we literally rushed over. After we took the photo of the kebab, we went into the shop and then we realized that her outfit actually matched the seats. And I have to go for this one because it's the green, the socks, it, it just walks very well. Yeah. It? So you must have some fun because there's a lot of vintage in Berlin. Is that in a shop or something? Yeah, that's yeah. in a Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. no. Show. no. You guys just got a free Thank English t-shirt. It's the World no, Cup. No, 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 I know, but it's, but it's vintage kits. So we went to this vintage store called um, Paul's Boutique that my friend took me to. The owner actually has his own football kit from years ago when he used to play for a team. And literally, we asked the woman, can we please just put it on just for a picture? I was allowed to put it on, and then as we like actually brought it down off display, we realized he got his whole entire team to sign the jersey because he wasn't gonna play anymore. You're really good with story. Every time you like try to like break my heart, we like, like, like absolutely. <laughs> like three England shirts, three of us, three lions, but not three kits. It's the World Cup. It's three England <laughs> I care shirts. About football, but for this this photo is coming out, mate. I like the effort to find like three people and stuff, but I have to hand it to to Dex and Shaq because. The story that, that you told me works also on the photo. You can see it on the little signature and everything. How I went about it was a bit interesting. Okay. So you found this really great vintage tennis skirt. And it didn't fit you, so you had to find somebody to like. It doesn't count because it's not with you. It doesn't matter. It's, it's the best piece of clothing or accessories. Yeah. And if, yeah, nothing said that you can put it on somebody else. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You guys but you can't put it on somebody else. the rules, fam. The only person who abides by the rules is Shaquille Aaron Keith, fam. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. I like your blurry face on this one. Very much, but I'm gonna have to go with this one, guys, because just the color way it works, just as a photograph itself, it works. How are you feeling, guys? Tense. Yes. <laughs> you come down to the last one, this exactly happened in New York as well, didn't it? Yeah? yeah. 
Okay, so maybe Dexon should like, tell me a bit what happened. And as I was about to get a sick photo, this woman comes out, she, she pushes me out of the way, and she goes, no, 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 no. She wants no one. <laughs> we just kept coming back to this one. Daniel was like, nah, you need to like, jump in <laughs> midair, uh, recreate what he's doing as well. I'm sorry I have to choose, but the winner is... Danny and Elias. <laughs> Guys. We deserve it. But you were amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. That's all right, man. So, big love to Maxime for coming through and judging the challenge. I've been very happy with what I've seen. Thank you to Maxime for crowning us the winners. For me, there's not really a winner. It's just the last photo. I really liked it more, but they both, they both won for me. The thing about the rules is, yeah, you know, because we, had, we have these rules. Oh, my God. These men on camera, yeah, want to do big man. Blow up their chest, yeah, and be all about, first of all, there were no rules for them. The rules, man, they're just getting to me. So <laughs> too, many, too many rules. Too many rules. Second of all, what are you talking about? So next time we're laying down more rules, though, innit? You want a tour guide? You got a Siri fam. You got Google Maps, brethren. Trust and believe. Nah, there is no next time. I bro. cannot. You guys, <laughs> you guys can do this challenge by yourself. If you might want to hear a girl talk to you, you can change it on Google Maps, you can change it on Siri or whatever. In fact, Siri's already a girl, so what the hell, fam? No one set none of them rules. Next time there's a scavenger hunt, I'm not take any photos. Why? Because there's no rules. I'm gonna say that all the photos that they took are also my photos too. <laughs> Big love to Hugo for making this episode possible. Without them, we would not be here. We wouldn't be doing a mad scavenger hunt. If you guys wanna go to Berlin, you wanna visit the same places that we do, check out the Hugo Hub. If you look in the description, there's gonna be a link. We've been wearing Hugo pieces throughout the episode. If you like any of the stuff we've been wearing, make sure you hit the link as well. We are now going to the spring summer 19 show. It's so sick. We're all suited and booted. Hugo Dark, the all black suit, baby. Um, man, I have to back off the top because it's better hot than that. Man's not really feeling to be sweaty all up in the front row and that, you get me? And she also said there's a photo booth on there, which is number... <laughs> None. Has it gone? No, it's not about. Wait, is it? No, it is. Is it? Well, I heard was for sure. Oh, like a little whistle and it went... I was like, ah! I'm getting a bit nervous. I think she half event away. She smiled at me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all sparkling, you monster. Get her out. Get out of here. I like this bench. It's disgusting. It tastes like talc in water. Talc in? Talc in water. What's talc? Talcum powder. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't know what talcum powder tastes like. Why do you eat talcum powder? I just get hungry sometimes. Is he in today? Is he here? I want to meet this guy on oh my days. This guy's so cool. Look at Dexter. Just, Dexter, just put it on. Put it on. Put it on. Just imagine you like a talc about it. Bottle, just all of it around your mouth, like. <laughs>